Scott, has anyone ever painted your crotch before, or am I the first? You're my first. I'm, I'm proud of that. Are you honored? How's your wife going to feel? She never painted your crotch before? Mildly jealous. No. Peanut butter? <laughs> Hot wax? <laughs> That's not for the internet to know. Talk about it when the cameras are off. <laughs> Is my forehead overexposing? It is. Look at my giant white forehead. You need a stocking cap. Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to Black Magic Craft. My name is Jeremy. Welcome to my channel, which is definitely mine, in my house in Canada. I have my friend Scott here. Scott the Miniature me. Maniac. Scott the Miniature Maniac. He has tattoos now and has a beard. I can grow a beard now. You consider this a beard? Well, compared to what I have, oh, yes. Oh, you got some fuzzies. Oh, I didn't shave, yes. Look yeah, at this, this majestic mountain man. This is the extent of my beard. Well, it's winter, right? You gotta keep, yeah, gotta keep that face, keep the face warm. warm. Yeah. I decided to visit my friend Scott finally, because it's really not that far away. No, I, I we, basically live in Canada. We, we both live in the in the frozen north. You're yeah. just on the wrong side of the wall. You were traveling traveling south for winter. This is my tropical retreat <laughs> yeah. to Minneapolis. The weather is considerably warmer here considerably, right now. Yeah. Figure, well, what are we gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna paint it. We're gonna paint. Yeah. I'm not a mini painter. Scott is. Yeah. People always complain I don't paint enough minis. So yeah. I brought in a ringer. Yes. Somebody who can actually do it better than me. Arguably, yes. But there's no way I'm letting my friend paint something cool. Yeah, I can't enjoy the process. <laughs> you can't enjoy this. This has to be humiliating. <laughs> I brought a little gift. I decided to make a little, a little Scott the Miniac uh, miniature. And it's not just and, any and, Miniac and, miniature. And I didn't like make a like I made a cool one of myself. Yeah, yours is cool. But for you, I picked the funniest vacation photo that your wife had on Facebook. And <laughs> you have red yeah. red short shorts like an. Okay. Like, are you on a basketball team? Sound off in the comment section if you wear short shorts in the summer. Were you swimming that day? No. Were those swimming trunks? No. <laughs> As a adult man, <laughs> wearing short shorts to go swimming is a mature thing to do. Yeah. You know, you don't need those big floppy shorts, no. you know, with the net inside and yeah. the Hawaiian... I don't need like, pockets like, when I go swimming. You don't need cargo shorts or like Captain Morgan rum shorts that you got at Walmart. Like no, wear some sir. adult mature man shorts. Yes. I agree with that. Walking around town, I don't know. I'm an above the knee shorts kind of guy, <laughs> but there's like danger territory of, above of, mid of, of drop, yeah. of things dropping out well, here. Well, it's got a net in it. That's true. There's a sunshine. Anyways, point of the story is that picture was hilarious and I loved it. <laughs> uh, technology is amazing. And there are services you can use to make your own minis. And having just made some Hero Forge stuff, I decided to use the power for evil and design. Certainly evil. Des design a, a, a mini and print it out at home and bring it here and force you to paint your own tiny short shorts. People ask all the time, like, are you going to make a miniature of yourself? And the answer is always no, because I can't think of a more self-centered thing to do. And trust me, I'm self-centered, so I resist at all possible <laughs> like like avenues to be self-centered. But if someone else makes it for me, then it's legal, then yeah. it's okay. We're, we got like two hours to paint. Yes. And we're gonna see where we get. I certainly will not turn out a finished miniature in this time, but you might, hopefully. We'll see. We'll start by applying some rough base coats. That... Let, let me be clear, this is not going to be a tutorial. No. No, you're not going to learn anything. Well... I mean, you'll learn... Maybe a, a little bit. You'll you'll learn some things about us <laughs> as people, maybe. Where are you going to start? The chest, the shirt, the central part of the miniature, where you can clearly see my rib cages. When I designed these, I made them... made it as skinny as possible. Excuse me? It? It, the miniature, the file. Oh, okay. Like the design. You like you're not an it. I thought you were saying I wasn't human. You're you're a, a real human boy. I'm a real boy. <laughs> Needed to make it skinny and God, the arm. What the, the hell? The, the proportions for Hero Forge are often pretty like exaggerated and like big hands and heads and kind of heroic or whatever for printing purposes. I was like, gotta make it as skinny as possible. And I picked the setting called emaciated. <laughs> and it looked like not skinny enough, but in print form. Now that we've primed it, you can see rib cage and maybe I went a little bit overboard. If you look at the back of my arm, by the shoulder, it like sinks in. <laughs> yeah. But that's mostly 
trying to force a pose. I was trying to match the actual picture. Honestly, you did a great job. And there's like limitations to the interface. This is kind of a testament to, to Hero Forge. Yeah, and this is certainly, this is not a Hero Forge video. This is just, no. I don't know if this is a good bit of advertising. Maybe it is. They don't endorse this. They you don't officially endorse this. this. <laughs> Do not take your friend's vacation photos and make minis out of them. That's not the intended purpose of Hero Forge. If it's not, why did they put short shorts as an option? Yeah. And sandals. Good point. That photo did not show your foot attire, but I took made the executive decision to make your feet wearing some sweet old man like Birkenstock sandals. Heck yes. Was that accurate? What were you wearing for real? I think that day we were hiking, so it was either boots or it was flip flops. Wait, wait. Hiking in short shorts. Hiking boots and short shorts. Dude. What, what was the uh, sock scenario in this equation? Oh, we were in some long white socks. Tube socks? Hell yeah. Red and blue stripes? No, no, just white. Ooh, the red shorts, baby. They even have trim around the yeah, outside. Yeah, they, they've got like the lines, like they're legit basketball shorts. They're like the kind of shorts that like, maybe like a female would wear like as pajamas at night. Yeah. Like you didn't even give me the manly kind of short shorts, which I don't know. But you really... were wearing manly short shorts. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, hold on. How do you define manly short shorts? Leather? <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> That's something else. <laughs> I think they're only manly short shorts if you have a sick mustache. Okay, yeah. I don't think the shorts themselves can be manly, Right. but you can put you... them in a manly context with a sick handlebar mustache. Are you saying that my frame You're... is not a manly context? N no. <laughs> <laughs> it could be with a sick handlebar mustache. Like if you had a wicked dad stash, that's the goal for 2020, is to grow a wicked handlebar mustache. I'm pretty sure the mini I designed, like the STL, I think they're shareable. Oh, dude. I think they you are. Okay. So I don't know how their system works, but I believe there is a function that I can share this mini. And if I'm correct, I'll put that link in the video description so you can print out your own little miniac or order one from them. <laughs> That's the kind of thing that I'm into. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. And then you can paint your own and send them to Scott. How pale are you going with the skin tone here? Okay. It's going to get paler. You're getting pretty pale. Oh, okay, good, good. You want it to be like realistic. Some uh, titanium white. Are you going to freehand a sick band logo on the t-shirt? I'm going to freehand the Black Metal Miniac logo. Do it. do it. I can't do that. But the thing is, no one will know the difference if I screw it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. It's still illegible. <laughs> and then I'm going to call you out on your fake black metal interest. I'm an appreciator. I'm not a listener. That's a thing, right? Yeah, like for posers. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you appreciate the art and the aesthetic, and I get that. That's actually how I feel about like thrash metal, which is what you like. Yeah. I love a good thrash metal t-shirt and album cover. Yeah. But I don't I don't really care about the music. Blocky letters with like chrome the colors. Players. Yeah, and, it's yeah, super colorful. Yeah. Starting to apply some highlights to the skin tone here. Make me look a little bit more paler. I'm still struggling to get like the skin tone covered. Fortunately, GW didn't make pasty white guy contrast paint. Oh, that sure. is unfortunate. Everyone's gonna need it when they're painting their Miniac models. I get my community to paint you and you get your community to paint me. They can't use like the mini I made of myself. You have to design a stupid one. I was like hire some pro sculptor to make like an awesome one. No, you have to dig up an embarrassing photo just like I did. Get in contact with your wife. Give me like the, the Christmas photo from like 1995. Uh, if you go way back, like to preteen years, you can get mullet, Jeremy. Ooh, that was a thing? Oh yeah, man. I'm older than you, Scott. Of course I had a mullet. I, I was born in the mid eighties. I had a mullet, of course. Elementary school in the early nineties, most Dudes had like a cool mullet, like a sp spiky hair, and then a mullet in the back. Are we sure that's cool? No, but mine was like not even cool then, because I had like the nerd part, like long parted nerd hair, and then a mullet in the back. That sounds cool. I mean, now it would be like a super cool hipster haircut. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I also at one point had in the back of my mullet, the Batman logo. Okay. Shaved into the back of my head. That's pretty next level. Yeah, like the... Like How the, old were you when this happened? Like seven or eight, or something like that. What? Yeah, and this would have been around the time of, you know, the first Batman movie. Yeah. And I had that logo shaved in the back of my head, and it was super cool. And then another time, I had a Ninja Turtle. Who the heck is doing this for you? Man, it, well, the barber at the mall. You got some talented barbers in some malls. Well, this was the early 90s, and it was all the rage, you know, supply and demand. Everybody was shaving things into their mullet. <laughs> <laughs> when I was about that age, it was the bowl cut. That was the, the huge bowl cut. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, you were like 
the Jonathan Taylor Thomas generation with the undercut. I'm not going to pretend to know who the hell that is, but I'll just say yes. I was not trying to set you up for a, a reference you didn't understand, Scott. Yes, you were! Now, normally, I wear glasses that are clear, but clear glasses, clear frame, that would just be really Were you wearing clear frames in that picture? I don't I remember. Yeah. Yeah. You already had the clear frames? I had the clear frames. So we're going to... We're going to just say that I was wearing black frames just to make life a little bit easier. I've never painted a model with glasses on. I'm just not realizing this. No space marines take their helmet off and just have a pair of like Coke bottle glasses underneath. <laughs> I'm just amazed like about technology. Go on a website, design a funny 3D model of my friend, print it at home, screw flying cars. This is the future. This is the future. The future is now. <laughs> like I don't even know how to model in 3D and this was possible. Yes. Like I'm not making a Goober Town Hobbies model until I can do that myself yeah. and get it perfect. Yes. Get those luscious, luscious red locks. locks. Unless like Hero Forge adds a Crocs option, then maybe I can do it. Does he wear Crocs? Does Goober Town wear Crocs? Does he show his feet? Yes. Oh, like when he's like when he's like finishing a table. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like when he's doing this. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love you, Brent. How long does it take you to paint a miniature that you're happy with, typically? Maybe like three or four hours, I think. So Yeah, that's good. Can't paint something good in two hours. But I also just am in incapable of taking the time longer than four hours to paint something really, really good. I just okay. can't bring myself to do it. Okay. So there's kind of that sweet spot of, you know, keeping an interest in doing it just long enough to clean it up and make it decent and make it okay. Can you paint terrain for longer than four hours? And does it take you that long normally? I certainly can't. Like I get less burned out or tired or annoyed by it, mm -hmm. but terrain I paint really fast. I mean, it depends on the terrain. Okay. Right? Like if you're painting a stone, right. like a rock, well, no. Uh, but like painting a house, I still probably take less time to paint like a big house than I would for one hero mini. Okay. Uh, but the house will look better because okay. it's like in my comfort zone right. and it's like the scale's bigger and it's like painting natural things is a lot easier than painting detailed like armor or clothing. Right. It's more forgiving. Yeah. But painting terrain is, there's a lot more like hurry up and wait. Slap some crap on it, walk away while it dries. Slap some crap on it, walk away while it dries. Which I mean, is kind of true of mini painting to a degree. That's why you like use the hairdryer and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But just the scale, like the amount of paint dries so fast. Like how much paint is on this. If you're putting a wash on this and doing it not like an idiot, you're putting a very small amount of very thin liquid on it. And yeah. it's gonna it's gonna evaporate and dry quickly. But like a building or a rock, you're putting a homemade sloppy wash and you're coating the thing and you gotta let that shit drip out for yeah. you know an hour. The, the volume of yeah. pain is it's just volume. Higher. Yeah. I'm gonna be known as the short shorts guy now. I know. The I, internet the internet doesn't know that about me. Yeah, but I mean they already knew you that you were moist. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh I can't stop gushing about these these white right? The shorts. Amazing. That's nice. What is it about miniature painting that intimidates you the most? I, I wouldn't say that there's a lot that intimidates me. There's things that are like off putting about it. But I don't know if intimidation is the right thing. I mean, getting crucified on the internet for sucking at it when I like <laughs> pretend like I know what I'm doing, that's one thing. But I'm, I'm careful to choose my words wisely when it comes to that. That whole idea of putting a lot of time and effort into such a small thing is off putting okay. for me, which I think scales up. And a lot of people might say the same thing about what I do, like from the outside. Like, yeah. You, know, you put all this time into building this little house that you might play a game with, like, you know for several hours in its lifetime. The things I build are bigger. Mm -hmm. Like you can see them from across the room and it's like subconsciously <laughs> that makes it more justifiable for my time. Like it fills my space more. And How I often think, does your stuff get used that you make? Uh, it depends which stuff. Like there's a lot of things that I make just for a video, which doesn't get used as much, but there's certain things I make that get used a fair bit. They don't get used as much as they could or should simply because I don't play as much as I could or right. should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's not like a fault of the piece. It's a fault of me and my gaming schedule. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do these glasses. If I should make the entire Yeah, like you make the glass eyeball. black. What do you do? I expect you make clear frames and paint your eyes. I'm gonna give you sunglasses. 
Oh, <laughs> that's it's cheating. Gotta match these goofy eyes I painted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like I'm wearing fucking goggles. <laughs> <laughs> it's an animated version. I think I'm gonna have to do that. I mean, I can't paint good eyes in a normal scenario. How am I supposed to do this? I don't know. Honestly, I, I've never painted a model with glasses, so this is- Like, what color are the lenses with eyeballs behind them? I mean, this... you can see some of the skin tone around, right? Yeah, I guess so. There should be some skin tone in there. Yeah. I started by base coating with skin tone, but- I'm gonna fuck it up. Honestly, what you did looks hilarious, so just keep it. Worst villain ever. It's got like a plan to make all the shorts shorter. <laughs> I like that narrative. Ah, you kids in your long basketball shorts. You'll I'll trip. show you. I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for those damn kids. Yeah. yeah. Junior. Okay, so we're basically done painting. Yeah. Like, we're, we're gonna paint it for like maybe what, two hours? Maybe. Or less. And, and I'm actually pretty happy. Yes. It's like it turned out pretty decent. Yeah. I don't mind it. I like the black metal logo we have on the shirt. Okay. I think that's really great. So, but I do look like I'm wearing goggles. You, you look like the hamburglar. But it's impossible to do this. <laughs> like, I, okay, I, can, I cannot paint eyes, so I'm, I'm okay with this. Mine's no better. <laughs> but like, you, you, you went legit with your logo on the shirt, which yeah. is true to the actual shirt you're wearing. Right. I right. made up a black metal logo. Yeah. The only thing we're missing is uh, like decorating this gnarly base and it's gotta be sand because you're it's at the be beach. Sand. We're at the beach, it's in Hawaii. You're so tan and you know, <laughs> the, a, a sun roasted god. Yeah, I, I took, I took <laughs> artistic, some liberties. artistic liberties, yeah. For sand, you need a really fine particulate and one thing I have is uh, something called micro balloons, but a really good substitute that you probably have in your pantry is baking soda. What the hell are micro balloons, Scott? I think micro balloons- What you, is it actually for? You combined it with a different product made by this same company, which is SIG, and then you can uh, sculpt almost with it, and it, it dries really hard, and you can sand it. Is it an art like product? I think it's a it's an in-between art product and construction thing. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, if it's sold in these quantities, I have to assume it's for something artistic, because yeah. for construction, this would be useless. I've never heard of it. I would like, use like a texture paste or mm -hmm. baking soda, like said, maybe. Mm -hmm. Actually, I would probably use grout. Grout is great. Right. I've never used this before, so let's use this. So what we're gonna do is just take some super glue and spread it to the base with some some little kebab sticks, and then we'll kind of just, just spoon yeah, it yeah. on. So the same way you would do with uh, like with dirt grout or whatever. Anything, yeah. Just gonna pour out on me. Probably, yeah. Shoot it in between the legs. Careful for the feet. I almost feel like it needs a fern, but I don't know. I've never seen like a. You got any fern tufts? Because I sure don't. I can pull out every single tuft that I have, okay. and we can pick. I suppose as long as the oh. doesn't need to be too thick. Right. Th these models, though, because I printed them on a resin printer standing upright, a lot of the supports for the model, like, were generated off the base. So there's a lot of scarring on this flat surface. So we got to cover that, whether we want to or not. Like, okay. This this serves two purposes, right? It's not just making it look better. It's actually hiding some ugly stuff. Yeah, maybe we'll do like a few layers of it. Okay, yeah. come bearing static gas. Static, <laughs> static gas. Static gas. <laughs> oh gosh, guys, it's still open. Oh no. Caution, do not breathe. Micro balloons may cause irritation of nasal passages. Look at me and my little camera at the beach with my little red short shorts. <laughs> There's never enough tufts, Jeremy. Okay, we got little flowers mm. and little green tufts. Pretty. This mini's gonna live its best life. Yeah. Well, I mean. We only painted it for like two hours. I feel like you should have a metal detector. <laughs> like, looking for, <laughs> looking for buried treasure. Yeah. Beautiful little flowery bush. It sounded dirty. <laughs> you don't often see much grass growing in sandy parts. That photo, you're like standing on a thing and behind you there's a bunch of greenery. What this mini deserves is a big perspective diorama that's really deep <laughs> with like... Is that next week's video? That's next week's video. I want like a Mandalorian effort level diorama of me standing over an ocean. Isn't that what we're doing for your video? Uh... <laughs> we got the minis done. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. This will just like sock it right into it. Okay, I only want one tuft. Otherwise it's gonna... be too much tuft. You can never have too many tufts. I've... I've discovered this. You already painted your rim? Yeah, dude. When were you doing that? 
just now. You made me sound like I betrayed you. <laughs> you already painted your rib? <laughs> you can't do that without me. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Too much tufts. Listen, I'm the miniature painter here, okay? All right, do we outro this bitch now? Mmm. Mm. Oh, dude, that's nice. Gluing it on the bottom of the thing? I never thought about that. I'm so smart. <laughs> yeah. I'm the miniature master. That's great. It like fits it perfectly. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah. A little hot tip. I taught Scott a little thing about miniature painting here with this base situation. How did you enjoy painting yourself, Scott? You know, it's a little bit of a surreal experience. It makes me question my physique. Maybe I should eat some more food. Uh, or just like some or work out a little bit. Yeah. Some proteins. Yeah, yeah. Other than just candy bars and soda. I will, if possible, make this file available to the public. <laughs> yeah. So you can do what you will. If you print it out and paint it, send it directly to Scott. I will delete the DM on Instagram. No. <laughs> Post it on all the social medias. Tag. If you paint it and you put it and you send me a DM, I'll put it in my story. Guaranteed. Do it. Do it up. So yeah, I'll put it down there if that's possible. Anyways, thanks for inviting me into your home and painting with you. Absolutely. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for coming all the way from Canada. I traveled across international boundaries. Yes. Really far. Yes. It's like you're the closest American major city to me. <laughs> <laughs> that's not that far. By this point, if someone sat through however long this video is of painting miniature version of you, they already know who you are. Possibly. Probably don't need a plug and we should have done that at the beginning. But in case you don't, uh, Miniac. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Just, there'll be a link somewhere. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> so, that's it guys. Don't forget. What are you supposed to forget? Do you want me to scream it? Do you want to scream it? I can scream you it. You do the thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bring my minis!